Today we're gonna to be making one of my best selling woodworking projects ever, and that is succulent planters. These are very easy to make, but you will be shocked at how well they sell. The first step is to uh, pick out the boards that you want to use for your succulent planter. Here I have uh, two pieces of two inch black walnut, and then I have a one inch thick piece of white oak. Keep in mind with the boards you're using, what's gonna be more visible is actually the, uh, the edge grain, kind of this end profile, because we're gonna laminate these boards and then cut them out to be multiple succulent planters. Um, so this will be more visible than this. Right now this is about five inches thick. That's a little too thick. This needs to be about four and a quarter to four and a half inches thick. I think that's the, the thickness for your succulent blank that will look best. Otherwise, this will just look too chunky. So I'm going to take this white oak to the bandsaw and resaw it. I'm going to use tight bond dark wood glue for this since we're using a lot of black walnut. Uh, this dark compound that tight bond makes, uh, it just kind of hides the glue joint a little bit better. I'll link it down in the description. Right now this blank is about four and a quarter inches thick. It's still a little too thick for me. I'm just gonna take a little bit of thickness off each side. When I run this through the planer, I'm going to run one side through, flip it, run the other side through, and keep on doing that so that I make sure this slice of white oak remains in the center. just over four inch thickness. So we took almost a quarter of an inch off. And I'm just looking at the side profile. I just like the ratios a lot better uh, of what we have here. Since I have a perfectly straight edge here, I'm going to run this through the table saw to give myself a perfectly straight edge on this face. And then we can start to cut everything down from there. I am going to have to pass through the table saw twice since this is a, a thicker blank. It's thicker than my table saw blade. Now that I have a straight edge to reference against, I'm gonna start laying out uh, my blocks that I'm gonna cut out. Make sure you do your math to see how you can maximize your blank and get the most amount of succulent planters. I forgot to press record when I cut these blocks down, but I cut them down to uh, three of them down to five inches in length and one of them down to seven inches in length. And now what I'm doing here is just trimming up the edges so that they are perfectly square. Okay, before I do any of the decorative edges, we're going to go ahead and measure where our uh, hole for the succulents will be. I use a two inch Forstner bit and I like to put it in the center of whatever face the planter or the, the succulent will be in. On some of these, I'm gonna do some routers around the edges. On some of these, I might cut out some like 45 degree chamfers on the table saw. I'll probably do that with these two since they're a little bit bigger. Uh, this I'll probably, I don't know what I'll do with this. I'll probably do routing here, routing here. One more thing that I will do with all of these is take a quarter inch roundover bit and just kinda ease off this circular top right here. Uh, it'll kind of keep everything, like all the dirt and pebbles around the succulents more 
in the planter. So yeah, we'll start doing all this right now. I'm gonna coat the inside of these planters with a two-part epoxy. Uh, for this, I'm using a two-to-one epoxy from Total Boat. I'll link it in the description. Uh, by the way, Total Boat, it's the only epoxy I use. Uh, I've used their epoxies even before I had a YouTube channel. And if you're interested in picking up this epoxy or any uh, Total Boat products, check out the description and you'll get a code for 5% off. So you can just use that link, get 5% off your whole purchase, which is super, super nice. Um, I mean, total boat epoxy, you can even see behind me. There's a river table I made. Uh, all that was total boat epoxy, so they make really, really great products. I'm just mixing this up. Once you have this uh, stirred up pretty well, what I do is I just kind of pour a little bit in there until I coat the bottom. And then I just move on to the next one. The reason we're doing this is that when someone goes to water their succulent, you don't want the, the water seeping through the bottom because eventually, it'll turn the color of the bottom of the planter. You can see all that water, all that water damage. So we're just gonna coat the inside lightly. What we're really just trying to do is seal up all the pores inside. Once I've done that, I just kinda roll the epoxy around so that it coats the sides. I'll probably do this twice, once now, and then once after about 20 minutes. Nothing crazy for the sanding of these charcuterie boards, just going 120 grit, 180 grit, 220 grit. Yeah, nothing crazy. So as I was sanding these, I realized that <clears throat> we have a few imperfections right here along our glue joints, right here. There's actually, you kind of see some, some gap right there. So before we finish sanding, I'm gonna uh, come in here with some of our uh, dark tight bond and I'm probably gonna work in some sawdust as well Just so I can hide my glue joint, but also fill in that gap because that obviously does not look good I'm throwing a uh, Minwax polyurethane on here. This is, I believe, the semi-gloss, and it just makes the black walnut pop. I will come back and do a second coat after this coat dries. So planting these succulents, uh, there is nothing crazy about this. I'm literally just going to very delicately pop these in here. This is super important. I have found that if these succulents live for your people you're selling the succulent planters to, they will buy more and more and more. However, if the succulent dies once you sell it to them, a lot of times they're like, I don't really want to buy another one, even though the product is really the same. So what I always tell people is, one, put the succulent in a window where it can get some sun. That will really help. A lot of people put them like in a desk in a room where there's no window and they die. Secondly, you are more likely to kill one of these succulents by overwatering it rather than underwatering it. I've got some succulents that are in a window at my house. I have not watered them in probably six months and they look great. So I just tell people, don't try to water it. You might drown it. 
and just put it in a window and it'll be fine. It's super easy and they look really, really good. These sell amazingly well. And if you want to get more tips from me on how to make money woodworking, check out this video right here. I promise it will be helpful for you. Besides that, hit the like button. Talk to you soon.